Barra is chiming in and he wants to know what you think Elias Pettersson's next contract could look like. Would he be willing to go the full eight years considering the state of the Canucks? Why not? If you like it, if you believe in what's happening, if you believe in Quinn Hughes and you believe in some of the talent that um, Patrick Alvin and his scouting eye can put together around you, um, you know, unless you're looking for a precedent setting deal, which I don't really get the sense that's what drives Elias Pettersson. Uh, I would say, of course. And what does the next deal look like? Uh, Barra, I have a hard time handicapping that, but I'd, I'd have to think that this is one of those, you know, 10 million AAV kind of deals, maybe plus. Uh, Cedric is in and says, putting Chicago and Arizona aside, who can take on big contracts this year? Who's in maybe the best spot, Frank? I'll frame it this way. Who's in the best spot outside, outside of those two to weaponize their cap space? I actually don't think Arizona is going to be in that market to be weaponizing their cap space. I think one of those teams is the Chicago Blackhawks. I think the Anaheim Ducks are always hungry to do something like that. Um, probably has passed by the Detroit Red Wings in terms of being competitive. So when I look at you know a couple of those teams that are in that spot, I'd say the Ducks, the Blackhawks, and maybe you could get the San Jose Sharks to weaponize their cap space. But outside of that, that, that market is really kind of dwindling, which for some teams kind of comes at the perfect time with the cap potentially going up. 